Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're checking out the KYY portable monitor. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, KYY sent me this portable monitor for a fair and honest review. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Fun fact, KYY stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano. This is a 15.6 inch type C full HD portable monitor, and it's also got HDMI. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, 770 grams overall. The resolution on this is 1920 by 1080 and the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. Opening up the box here and the first thing I can see is the monitor and also a little bag to the right of the monitor. Inside of this bag is the AC adapter, which isn't required unless you're using HDMI or if you wanted to power this on its own. The AC adapter reads an output of 5 volts and 2.4 amp. Moving the monitor out of the way and I can see a whole bunch of different cables as well as an instruction manual. The first cable here is a USB-A to USB-C cable which you can use to power the screen if you wanted. The second cable is a USB-C to USB-C cable. This can be used to power the screen, transmit video, or both. And the third cable is a mini HDMI to regular size HDMI cable. This monitor does not have a full size HDMI port, so it's nice they included this cable. The instruction manual on this one is pretty simple and straightforward. If you have experience with these kind of monitors, you probably don't need to read it. Now taking a closer look at the monitor and there is a gray case on this. This gray case is magnetic and it also doubles as a stand and it's also a fabric-y type of material. It's a nice feel overall. The case also has built-in flexible joints to make it very easy to position the monitor at a whole bunch of different angles. And there are joints on both sides of the case. In fact, the monitor is held to the case by magnets. It's not glued to the case, it's not fastened any other way, so you can remove the case pretty darn easy. On top of that, there is a card here to help you set up the case and arrange the monitor in different positions if you were having trouble. Peeling the plastic off the monitor was extremely unsatisfying. It left a film of glue along the top of it, which was a pain to take off. I kind of wish they went with a different method to protect the screen while shipping because taking this glue off the top was a massive hassle, and that's putting it lightly. It took quite a bit of time to get every little piece of this glue off, and I still think there's a couple pieces on there. It's not a very fun process, and if you don't like this stuff, well, you're gonna be frustrated right away. Now, taking a closer look at the monitor, and it's pretty thin overall. There's speakers on both the left and the right-hand side. On the right-hand side of this monitor, we have two USB-C ports. One can be used for charging and the other one for video, or you can just use one or the other for both. And there's also a mini HDMI port. I can understand why they didn't have a full-size HDMI port on this, and that's because this device is extremely thin. On the left side of this device, there's another speaker. There's a button to change the input from HDMI to USB-C 1 or USB-C 2. And there's also a dial here used to access the menu and adjust settings. And there's also a headphone jack. Now this KYY portable monitor worked with every single device I tested it out with. So for this video, I'll just showcase it with a switch using micro HDMI. And I'm gonna shut off the lights to show you this monitor in action as best as I can. So here's Breath of the Wild up and running using this monitor. And these are just default settings at this point and I'm pretty happy with this picture overall. The viewing angle is nice, the picture is clean and I'm not noticing really any screen tearing or anything like that. So let's check out a few different settings, and the first setting here doesn't really work to me. Let me know in the comments below if you see a difference here, but when I change the brightness from 100 to zero, everything is the exact same. Nothing to me looks like it's changed at all. This monitor also has a bunch of different viewing modes. By default, it was set to standard, but I can flip it over to game, FPS, text, movie, and RTS. You can also change the aspect ratio in this menu from 16 by nine down to four by three if you wanted. You can also change the color temperature of this monitor. By default, it was set to warm, but it has cool and user defined if you'd like to configure things manually. As we saw previously, this monitor does have two speakers built into it, and you can adjust the volume via this menu. I do kind of wish there were volume buttons built into the side of the monitor to make this process a lot easier. In terms of volume though, I'm not going to play it because Nintendo's not going to like me playing sound of their game here, but at the same time it worked pretty well for monitor speakers, basically what you'd expect from a monitor. Not the best, but they were clear, it was easy to hear them, they just didn't get overly loud. This monitor also has a blue light filter and you can adjust the strength of it. And yeah, this monitor also has HDR built into it. Now taking a look at the HDR filter on Breath of the Wild here, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Stuff looks super oversaturated. If you take a look at this right here, 
it's hard to see a lot of detail because the saturation kind of blends colors in together and to me it does not look good at all. Taking the saturation off and the picture looks to me a heck of a lot better, so HDR is definitely one option I could live without. So let's get into what I liked, what I didn't like, and whether or not I'd recommend the KYY portable monitor, and we'll start out here with what I liked. First and foremost, this worked with everything I tried it out with. It booted up quick, it changed sources very quick, it was a responsive monitor, and I thought the viewing angles were also pretty good. I like the case on this, the fact that it's magnetic is pretty darn cool and you can detach the case if you want. You can configure it in different ways to position the monitor to your liking. I like the weight of this monitor, it was a lot lighter than I expected given the fact that it's 15.6 inches and also a lot thinner. I like that it's got two USB-C ports, not some proprietary connection, and you can use the USB-C ports for power or video and you can use them simultaneously. And I can understand why they went with mini HDMI given the fact that this device is so thin. Now getting into what I didn't like about this monitor, and I do have a few dislikes. One of them being portrait mode. They say you can use this monitor in portrait mode, but I found here that the dial that you use to adjust the settings kind of makes this thing unstable. When you push it down on the desk, this does stick out a little bit. So when it's sitting on the desk, it does rock back and forth a little bit. And it's not necessarily the most comforting experience if you're expecting this to stand up and possibly not fall. So I mean, unless you've got a stand or something that can prop this up without touching this dial here, maybe just something that sits in the center, this is more than likely just a landscape monitor as opposed to a portrait one. The next thing I didn't like was the HDR mode. I found it completely oversaturated the picture and it wasn't very usable. I mean, some people might like that effect, but to me it lost a whole lot of detail and well having it turned off the picture to me was more clear and pleasant to look at and the last thing that I didn't like was the brightness so for some reason I couldn't turn the brightness up or down it didn't seem to want to work on this device and that was a bit of a bummer so before I get into my overall recommendation let's take a look at the price as tested this monitor is listed at $189.99 so 190 bucks it is 14% off down from the regular price of 220 bucks and there's also a coupon for an extra 30 bucks, so I guess you can get this for 159. It's also worth pointing out that at the time of filming, they have a non-HDR version priced at 170, also with a $30 off coupon, so 140 overall. And they have a 4K version here listed for 223.99 with a $20 off coupon overall, so basically 204 bucks. So at the list price of 220 bucks, I'd be a little hesitant to recommend the KYY monitor, but at a price of 190 bucks, I'm far more comfortable recommending this monitor. And if you don't need HDR, just pick up the cheaper version here for 170 bucks. Again, I don't think I'd spend the list price, but 170 seems like a great deal for this monitor. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Huge shoutouts to KYY for providing this monitor for a fair and honest review. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.